days in a row of really brutal price action. We are in about an 8% drawdown off our August the 24th uh, peaks. We last made an equity peak and the strategies were extremely, the market was extremely choppy today. Minus 54.50 in live trading. We also traded zigzag in the managed account. That was minus 550. So minus 6,000. These numbers right here represent the stock index portfolio 34. And these numbers are in addition to that. And so the hypothetical end of day drawdown, minus 22.87, minus 27.57. Um, and then plus, and then another 550 for zigzag results today. About six thousand dollars in live trading in the managed account, and um, so uh, the hypotheticals in live were about the same on the 250k portfolio on the week. Um, we are um, minus 9140 on Tuesday and Wednesday. Yesterday I referred to day as Tuesday, and I was just thinking in terms of the second trading day of the week. And so Wednesdays have the tendency to go down. Month to date, three quick days, pretty quick drawdown. Last week we talked about how we had a quick 11K drawdown on Monday. This is similar, four days in a row of pretty quick drawdowns, which is normal. I'll show you the portfolio calculator. And then up on the quarter still and up on the year, and we will keep a tight rein on trading. We're going into Thursday tomorrow and Thursdays. While they haven't been great, they weren't great last week. Thursday and Friday last week were rough. Um, it was the end of the month and beginning of the month, and sometimes those can be good. Sometimes, sometimes those can be choppy on a holiday. Haven't had any real, you know, volume or trend in the market yet, and we've started September. So uh, Thursday, Fridays have longer term over the past year been good. And so looking for a bounce here. If not, we're going to protect our quarterly gains. Um, you know, looking at. Worst case drawdowns of 25K uh, based on the stock index portfolio 34. So we'll keep a tight rein on that. Looking for a bounce, maybe a 5K, risk maybe 5K more at the most. And we'll see how that goes um, in our trading based on the stock index portfolio 34, managing the risk on these separately. And, um, you know, zigzag, I thought zigzag would do good on a day like today. It was down 550. And let's look at um, the results. So it's about an 8% drawdown. And we're up about 20% on the year. And at our equity peaks, we were up about 28%. So taking a look at the day session, you see there is chop at the open. There's about a seven minute move here in the NASDAQ futures. And then at 10.07, the close of the day was around 10.07. So if you put, the way I figure that is if you put the cursor right here and you go back to the lowest point to that time, you can come to right here. The close is around 10.07. So 37 minutes, really a seven chop, seven minute move. And then you had some chop here. I will show you the path on the money management algorithm indicator in a minute. I want to go over the 24-hour session and the NASDAQ as well. So if you look at the 24-hour session, we thought the market um, had the tendency to break out from this range. And so you have this tight range, um, five days in a row, now six days, and it took the bottom of that range out. And you know what happens when you create these ranges. Oftentimes, they'll take out the bottom, and then they'll come out here and they'll take out the top. And so... I mean, this could be the beginning of a slow downtrend. These downtrends we've been having um, since the pandemic have been really slow and controlled and unlike normal sell-offs. And so we'll see if that happens, if this is the beginning of a slow downtrend or if um, this, this was a bottom that rallied here, pulled back, rallied here, took six days, broke out the low, and then rallies again. And so um, the likely scenario, in my opinion, is... That it will, it's just hard for the, it's hard to short this market. It's too, so hard to short this market. Um, it should be easier. It should have some more, it should have some better distribution days. And it looks like a big down day at minus 149. But like I said, per the day session, chop, you've, you have about, a, a, what is that, about 42 to about 90 points. About 90 points right there. You get more selling, but a lot of bounce back. You get this strong, it looks like a real strong accumulation right here. And then it just turns into an afternoon chop. We're seeing a lot of this um, choppy, 
a choppy trend and then a dead market in the afternoon. E even when the market goes up, it goes up and then it chops sideways in the afternoon, goes down, chops sideways in the afternoon, it's done. No follow through. And so let's look at the trades on the day. The, the S&P was the real culprit today. And one of the things, another thing about the, today that was slightly different, oftentimes you see this sell off and then it, it props at this point. And it took another leg down, got a lot of systems short in this time period, and then it bounced back above our average price. So that was that was a hard uh, hard part of that. And I will show you the act, actually the um, you know we're down in the stock index portfolio today minus 5,500, and the Nasdaq was about minus 500, going three for eight. While the S and P was down minus five thousand, and it was one for seven, and so it tried to buy all the way down, and then the Nasdaq was short, it was shorting, and then it was increasing its shorts here as it went up. And so, um, let's look at the S and P, and you'll see tick pulse minus six twenty five. Cobra CT3 minus 625 minus 1225 on Cobra CT3 2023, and again stopped out these low points. Uh, not not necessarily a low point here. It continued lower. Um, tick count trend got long minus 425. Opening chop got long minus 1225. Opening chop two got long minus 1175. And gap continuation in reverse plus 337.50. That was the only winner on the day. And so just a small winner in the midst of all these other strategies that tried to, I mean, the VIX, I mean, it went up to 15, which isn't very high. And so it acted like a, a market that's about, that could have sold off precipitously in the afternoon, but then it, it just kind of propped up and so grinded against us. And so um, challenging trading day, you know, six days in a row, really, in the markets as, as far as sideways price action. Three for eight in the NASDAQ, minus 500. Highlight on the day was EVP1, short and then long, and it was up on the day, uh, 27.75. And then EVP1, long only, was up on the day, 5.35. And then um, we had, um, let's see, minus 690 on Cobra 3, plus 325 on gap continuation. This is just what shorts look like. They just they just won't fall through or close down. Um, unusual. Um, you know, it's probably supposed to be like this 70 to 80 percent of the time, but um, not 100 percent of the time. And so it seems like a market that's a little bit broken with the excess liquidity, as far as really showing natural distribution, new natural distribution days. Minus 625 on tick pulse, um, tick count trend is minus 675 tick reversal was down on the day minus 1130 and on our server opv traded and it was minus 990 on the desktop it doesn't show the signal um, holidays seem to uh, throw everything off and you tend to get data errors and i'm not sure which one's right we took the trade on the server and it doesn't show up on the desktop and so um, it would be nice to have more consistency in our platform but um, that is where we are and pretty annoyed with the market environment and the uh, data differences as well so we are trading for a bounce right now here is a zigzag trade got short got long and down 550 on the day so I'm going over the trades on the mic. I'm going to go over the trades on the micros now. This is on a desktop server. The OPV NQ was a took a short trade for minus 990 on my server. I'm going over the micro trades also on my desktop, and it does not show an OPV NQ on the micro Nasdaq. So maybe you had that on your server. If you did, I also had it minus 990. Tick reversal um, on this was. Minus 112.50, tick count trend was minus 67.50, EVP1 was plus 277, um, plus 53.50 on EVP1 long only, tick pulse was minus 62.50, and minus, uh, plus 
and then uh, minus 68.50 on Cobra 3. So those are the NASDAQ trades for the micro NASDAQ I'm showing on my desktop. They all look the same as my desktop strategies and different on my from my live server on OPVNQ. And then micro NASDAQ is um, minus 6250 on tick pulse. And then Cobra CT3 minus 6250. Cobra CT3 2023 is minus 122.50. And minus 4250 on tick count trend. Minus 12250 on opening chop. Minus 116.25 on opening chop two. And plus 3375 on gap continuation in reverse. So all of these look the same. So the only difference really is the difference between OPV and Q on the server versus my desktop. Going over the money management algorithms, the um, some of the trades were a little different on this. There was no um, Let's see, the NASDAQ trades were different. The S&P trades look like they're the same. So for the NASDAQ, we had, there was a momentum reversal trade that, because this is in a one minute. So on the uh, money management algorithms, we're tracking one minute versions of these strategies that are slightly different from time to time. There was no OPV on this desktop and there was no, uh, and there was a momentum reversal long trade. And so those are some of the differences here. So it, the money management algorithm indicator, this also does not include the zigzag. That's a side strategy we're trading. So the money management algorithm still track the stock index portfolio 34. And this was the path of the equity curve for the stock index portfolio 34. And this equity curve has been, you know, it's one of those trading periods where the, the equity curve goes against you kind of slowly all day. Here it's made it, it tried to make, it started to make a comeback because we increased our short position to short six right here on the NASDAQ and then it reversed on us and then we got net long um, throughout the day. Now these are these are a little bit different. Keep in mind it shows plus three there because um, the momentum reversal was long and OPVQ sh was not short. And so um, this is what it would have done today. Minus 3,800 um, had you just traded the one minute versions of this setup without zigzag and the overall signal strength trader and market position trader, uh, signal strength trader was, was short, stopped out down on the day. The market position trader though was profitable on the day because it didn't build up as big of a position down here. We had, I believe, seven or eight contracts short here because OPV NQ was short. And then, um, so it built up a bigger short position and that affected us. And so the overall results for the signals for the market position trader, which is overall, I guess one of my favorite setups, was up today, 2100. It had gone through a losing streak as well. You remember last week when our stock index portfolio 34 that we trade was uh, minus 11K here and then plus 20K on the 29th for a 9K difference on the hypotheticals. We had errors and were only plus 11K here. This was plus 12K. And so it was a little bit better. It didn't take this big of a loss here. And didn't take, have as big of a win there either, but the net gain. And then had four losing days in a row. Like, and we, um, I think we did a little bit better in this time frame. I'll have to check. But today was a winner. And let's look at the equity curve overall. And you'll see that it's in about a 12K drawdown. 12K drawdown out of a 24K worst case drawdown. But um, the results on the month are minus 45, 85 versus um, what we're showing on ours. And I'll pull that up in a minute. Average average entry price was, let's take a look. You can just see um, how, when you expand this, how sloppy this market is from this point forward. You see chop here, quick move here. And then just a, a choppy down move and a choppy up move. A lot of V reversals are sharper. This was a choppy down and choppy up V reversal. So probably one of the worst worst patterns that we have to trade. Most difficult patterns. This was up 2100 on the day. And overall, um, I think it's in about a 9 out of $17,000 drawdown. 
So about 8K to the worst case drawdown on this. And you can see here, how is it done on the month? And it is, let's see, the monthlies are minus 1,095. And so this is a little bit more conservative as well. And so that's the average entry price for the uh, market position trader for stock index 34 ES um, down on the signal strength trader had a big net position got in got stopped out uh, market position trader tried to get long as well and so you know a little bit of a bounce would have we had a pretty big position we had five strategies long in here and just a little bit of bounce back up to these highs would have been a pretty profitable would have created a pretty profitable day this is one of those days that seems to have been more uh you know would, would have normally just been a choppy or narrow range but it took a bigger range out for some reason and so unless we're at the start of a slow downtrend that speeds up i anticipate a move higher tomorrow uh, to take out the top of that range and that could potentially be a nice thursday gain that we're talking about um, this market like like we said it was in a range it was very range bound since um, that big move last Tuesday and that was I guess uh, a week and a day calendar days ago and it's been one two three four five six trading days this was the holiday so it doesn't completely count but it's really the market was the stock market was closed on Monday, but futures trade half a day or close around 1300 Eastern. And so one, two, three, four, five, six um, choppy days in a row. And this one um, took out these lows. You see how the market rallied here and tried to stay above this high. It mainly tried to stay above this high. It kept coming to this high point and bouncing high point from last Tuesday bouncing high point and bouncing broke through and then oftentimes when it like I said when it can't punch through it backs up and then runs higher so the market opens you know down here around the today's close and then rallies it could be a nice Thursday trade if we can capture those moves and so that's what uh, we're looking for tomorrow potentially to happen in the market these are the trades on the day for Wednesday, September the 6th, 2020. Hey, David Bean here. Welcome to Capstone Trading Systems YouTube page. Be sure to subscribe to join our community of algorithmic traders. We are real money traders. We share our winning streaks. We share our losing streaks, as well as market updates, strategies, and coding tips.